All right, today I want to give an update to a video I posted. It's called Me at the Zoo Challenge. Now, the first thing to know about this video is it's different than the original video, Me at the Zoo. All right, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. My video was supposed to be a reenactment of the first video on YouTube called Me at the Zoo, hosted by Jawwood Kareem, one of the founders of YouTube. Uh, one thing I want to share about this video is that Mine was more of a campaign to drive traffic to my website. Last year, around August 12th, I had confirmation that I could be a reseller to Zoo Miami's tickets. So I wanted to create a campaign to kind of get some more exposure to my website called Treferral. If you look at my video, Me at the Zoo Challenge, you'll see a link in the description that takes you to my website where you can purchase tickets to uh, Zoo Miami. What's interesting about this campaign was I just wanted to kind of reenact the first video on YouTube, make it a challenge, and encourage everybody out there to kind of create their own Me at the Zoo video and push them to go to their local zoos. Once I posted that video August 12, 2018, nothing really happened until April 30th my video gets picked up by YouTube's algorithm, puts, puts me in the second, third position. All of a sudden I get tons of views, tons of comments, and tons of subscribers based upon this one video. Now, that's awesome. Uh, I think I did a good job of creating a viral video. And there's a few things that happened since April 30th that I want to kind of share on this channel. The first, it's all about the comments on the video. It's amazing to see how many people comment about this video. Some people like it, some people don't. So I want to talk about a couple of the key points that I've learned or that I come across in the comments. The first one is that people are very adamant at letting people know that my video is one second shorter than the original video. So the comments, people are like, hey, it was pretty good, pretty close, but you're a second off. I find that to be fascinating because when people spend that much time to compare the two videos, if they see my video is one second off, they, they're, they're ready to comment and call me out on that, which is fine. I think it's cool. Uh, one of the second things uh, that I noticed when people comment on my video is they're asking, am I the same person? Am I Jawad Kareem just updating the video? So I want to tell people, no, I'm not Jawad Kareem. My name is Ryan Guerra. This is a reenactment video. Some people get it, but a lot of people actually ask, am I the same person? Now, I don't like to tell people that I'm not the same guy. So I kind of just like the comments and heart the comment and then get people curious and wondering, am I the same guy? So it's kind of fun to play with people in the comment section. Uh, one of the other things that I find fascinating is some people get mad. Uh, some people get mad that I copied this video. And what I want to tell everybody, it's a reenactment video. It was supposed to drive people to their local zoo. So I don't know why you'd be mad that I'm reenacting the first video on YouTube. And it's a challenge. So you're supposed to reenact the first video on YouTube. Go down to your local zoo, reenact the video, and post it. And let's have some fun with it. One of the other points is people can't believe that I'm, after the, posting the video about a year ago, that I'm still liking comments, replying to comments, and hearting comments. And people find that and get pissed off. So they want to post in the comments like, man, this guy is still liking the comments. And I think that's the whole point of having a YouTube channel is you build an audience and you have a community and you reach out to them and engage with them. And so I wanted to kind of, you know, respond and say, of course I want to reach out and reply to everybody that's commenting on my video. Now, something recently happened that was huge news. Apparently, Jawad Kareem, the original person who posted the video, liked my video, responded and answered the question, no, we're not the same guy. Of course not, we're not the same guy. But he did something that he asked for a sub to sub. Now, I got super excited that I couldn't believe that after all this time, Jawad Kareem would actually comment and like my video. So I got all excited. I was all, you know, super jazzed that this guy, the original founder of YouTube, the first video, would like my video. Turns out there's a possibility that the video or the channel was hacked. Now, not all the comments were removed. And why would somebody, if they hacked Kareem's channel, why wouldn't they not do any other thing other than comment on my video? So I found it very interesting. I'm going to take it that Jabba Kareem liked my video, commented on my video, and just played a game for sub to sub culture. I'll let you guys decide if it was a 
a hack job or not. I'm not going to decide that. So you guys can post in this video comment if you think it was a hack job. But I thought it was super amazing that, the, that he would take the time to comment and like on the video. I just find it fascinating. And, it, and for a while, it drew a lot of curiosity on the channel. And the last thing I want to talk about that I found or I learned is that the sub to sub culture on these comment section is extraordinary. There's so many people out there that, you know, they want to comment on my video and ask for sub to sub. And if you're not familiar, sub to sub means that I'll subscribe to your channel if you subscribe to mine. So they use my video as a way to kind of communicate with each other to build more subscribers. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I, I think that if people are, you know, posting sub to sub, just why don't you learn how to make good videos? And don't worry about sub to sub. There's some people out there that want to have 10,000 subscribers with no video content, and I find that to be confusing and odd. Just learn how to make good videos. Anyways, I wanted to give a quick update on this Me at the Zoo Challenge video I posted. It's already passed 80,000 subscribers in my mind that this video has gone viral. I appreciate everybody who's commented on the video, who's liked the video, and who's subscribed to my channel. Uh, and there's one person that I want to uh, shout out here. It's Freddie Reagan. Uh, thank you for liking and commenting on my videos. You're one of the top people that comment on this video. I just want to say that uh, you're doing an excellent job. I appreciate your comments. You kind of keep the life going on that. So thank you. That's a quick update. I'll probably do another update when the video reaches 100,000 views. Otherwise, thanks. And I wanted to kind of just say thanks for everybody who's liked that video. I just want to give you a quick update. And what I always say is thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the real world.